boats. Truly the airplane of the water world. Some are big, some are small. Oh, On some boy. rare occasions, they can even be red. But even after all these great what leaps in technological advancements, that? scientists <laughs> are still baffled by this nah. one unanswered question. If boats big and made of metal, how come boats float so good? Great question. I, I don't trust boats. Know. I don't trust them at all. You're telling me a 180 yeah. ton thing tug. made of metal doesn't sink like a stone once you put it in water. I'll believe in the hollow earth theory before I believe in that bullshit. And yet, for some reason, people get on boats all the time. They got on boats for vacations yeah, mostly. The, the, they enjoy the food and the mm -hmm. booze, even though they could do I'm all those things you, on bro. land. All cruises vary in terms of quality. Some are much fancier than others, although I believe if you yeah. polish a turd too much, you'll get skid marks in your palms. On the trashy side of the spectrum, we have something like carnival cruises that are full of alcoholic parents with their dip kids that they hope fall overboard in the middle of the cruise so See, they can I don't go know back about that roller coaster right there. Yeah. That gotta be fake, bro. No, he's not, he said that they hope fall over. Yeah, no, his... I'm just ignoring <laughs> that, yo. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> nah, shout out to That they go drop off in that um, kid's room. They stay yeah, there all nah. night. All That's day, crazy. all night. I don't think this is real. Like, do you have a ro how do you even have a coaster? I know they have those slides, but I don't know about that roller coaster. Nah, this, this boy can't be. Mm -mm. Right, old, but nah. The, the water slide, they'll be having that big jaws of cool yeah. Jaws. I like wouldn't that? even let y'all get on that the roller coaster. Now y'all ain't getting on that. I'm not even trying to get on this. Nah, y'all could get on them slides. Y'all ain't getting on that roller coaster. I don't even get on the cruise. I didn't even want to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's tough. Like I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like. <laughs> Free life. And then on the fancy end of the spectrum, we have the main focus of today's video, which is the Region 7 Seas Cruise Line. But Tucker, what makes a 7 okay. Seas Let's Cruise see. any fancier than any other big boat on the ocean? Well, I'll tell you, and it's exactly as stupid as you'd think. All right. Okay. All Question, right. <laughs> do you want to take part in one of the lowest quality forms of vacation while also distancing yourself from the lowest quality form of human being? Well, I have some great news. The Seven Seas Cruise Line nah. offers you everything you want and more so you can see the world without ever laying your eyes on a pour. Picture it in your head. Just okay. you and 750 other Bohemian Grove members floating out on the open Bohemian water. Bellies full Grove of champagne members. and lobster. Ooh, mind full that. of the overwhelming guilt of your mere existence because you shouldn't have that much money that you stifle down with even more lobster and champagne. Oh. But how how does the that, 70s that ain't my cruise line cruise. cater to I the ultra wealthy? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it's by shoving a bunch of fancy sh into the boat. That's pretty much it. So let me just give you a quick what? breakdown on okay, uh, how ahead. stupid this is. The Seven Seas offers a fleet of luxury ships, including the Navigator, the Mariner, the Voyager, the Explorer, the Splendor, and the Grandeur. I think it's they missed a huge one. opportunity by not naming some of these boats. The what now. is he I'm saying? Assume, That's I'm all in one. These are all their different ships, but like this is irrelevant to me because from what it's seeming like, bro, not only can I not afford this boy. Not only will I not be taking a foot into the ocean, I ain't gonna lie. Why though? I just don't understand. Y'all understand like the vacation? Obviously, I understand the point of vacation. You know, you just to get away, have fun, and all that type B, right? Like that's cool, but like, we want to get on a, we want to get on a cruise. Like, see now, I, I need to really go get the cruise experience to like really, I guess, like, guess really begin into it. But I, I just not, I just don't know. I don't know when they be playing. You, like, you ever see like the Disney cruises where they be paying like mad cheese for that? I just don't understand. Like I'm not seeing it. Like I would imagine a vacation is fire, but like bro, this, like yo, how we making this cheese back, bro? I'm not seeing know. it. Like bro, you're not. <laughs> I'm just not. I can't do it, bro. Maybe that, but that's just me though. Hey, bro, y'all do what y'all want to though. Sure. Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, but I guess whoever was naming these boats was a Star Trek fan. I, I don't know. And on these boats, they offer tons of activities and attractions that only the ultra wealthy would consider activities and attractions. I mean, basically, at the end of the day, a Seven Seas Cruise is just the world's most sinkable art museum. On the ship called Grandeur, or as I like to call it, the Illusion of Grandeur, <laughs> cook their asses, <laughs> uh, there's a 1600 piece art exhibit, and it includes a lot of real Picassos. Why put. That's what? that, like, nah, I'm not saying it's about Tug either, I'm not Grandeur, but like, Say I'm going on vacation. Like, cool. If I admire art, that's cool. But if I don't, this has nothing. Like, bro, I'm, and you about to pay a premium because this is on the ship. No cap. But what if I just didn't care about that? So I'm going to pay, like, this extra band or two because, oh, yeah, now we got priceless art. But I didn't I didn't ask for the art to be here. I just wanted to go on a cruise. Now, nah, maybe. Nah, heads, I could already see heads in the comments now, bro. Well, uh, uh, well, it's not for you. Listen, maybe it's not, bro. Hey, like, we all subjected to our opinion. I don't know. And, yo, and I like art. I ain't gonna lie. For y'all that don't even know, I actually like art. Like, yo, I like painting and drawing. Like, that's fun. Like, drawing. But, like, yo, if they gotta add an extra two bands because this is on the ship, and I'm not even sure what this is. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's art. Nah, it's art, but I... <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Shout out, shout out Picasso, but uh, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna, we gonna leave this one where, where it's at. But, um, yeah, if I gotta pay extra two bands because this is just on the ship... Mm, nah, I think I'm a pass. I think I'm a pass. 
put world-renowned art into a public museum where the poors can burp their diet sodas up all over it and get their sticky little fingerprints on it when you can just cram that art into an eyes wide shut boat the answer is obvious also on that boat is a very famous uh Fabergé egg for you broke folks who don't know what the f that is no. a Fabergé egg is a fancy egg Pretty much. I'm not gonna go into the history of Fabergé eggs because it's stupid and it makes me I've angry. Seen but just know before. they have one if that's a design. Right. Like. Right. Passengers also dine under chandeliers okay. and crystal encrusted trees now we're while uh, eating off of gold Versace plates. I bet you didn't even know Versace made plates. Look at what you're. Oh what? I'm, I'm, oh my bad. See, see, this is where I and this is why heads don't like us, Mama. I ain't gonna oh. lie because this is where my insecurity is gonna be shining. Oh. I guess, y'all, I, 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 I just not secure enough with myself to uh, want to eat off a of Versace plate. It's not like I, it's totally like I didn't care whatever I eat my plate off of as long as my food is actually good. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, yo, if my fork, mom, my fork ain't solid gold, bro. You know, it's just, it's just tough. I'm just insecure. I just, I'm just not secure enough to have a golden fork. How do you even know if that's like real? They can. It's probably fake. Yeah, nah, it's most likely fake. Dumb. I'm gonna keep it a butt. If, I, if I'm thinking so myself, again, my subjective opinion, because I know some of y'all gonna be like, well, you don't know. Like, yeah, you're right. I think this is a whole. I think this is a load of BS, even if it's real. Because, like, bro, I need you to imagine on your receipt, bro. Your receipt, like, on your for your whole cruise, John, it's like, yo, dining. And it's got specifically Versace on that for your plate, bro. Oh, yeah, that was another hundred. For the, for the plates? Nah, a bro, meal, a hundred a meal for the plates. Like, bro, you're wearing. Of course you don't. On the ship, the Explorer alone, there are over 158 chandeliers on board. Chandeliers being and? the uh, only lighting fixture that will notably kill you if it falls from the ceiling. So let's hope for a smooth sailing, huh? And on a 14-day <laughs> cruise, the ship will offer over 2,000 pounds of lobster. And I know what you're thinking, Tucker. Wouldn't you get tired of lobster? That's poor thinking. You're thinking like a poor. And let's not oh forget about God. the butlers, unless it's time for their Christmas bonuses. <laughs> yeah, a good amount of rooms that you cause... book on a Seven Seas cruise comes with a butler. I think they live on the ship. I don't think they can leave. Now, what would you do with a butler on a ship that the whole point is to walk around and experience things for yourself? I have no goddamn clue. But you'll have a butler, and that's 90% of the peel of having a butler. You could probably just tell him to lay down in the bed for you all day and keep it warm for you, but you won't because that would be slacking. Oh, in that bed, it is worth $200,000. The mattress is that expensive. So maybe... How much does it cost to go on this cruise? How else? I'm, I am bewildered. Two, $200,000 for the mattress? Bro, nah, come on, you gotta be excited. We gotta be that. paying 15 bands to go on this jump. We got a night? <laughs> Cause that's what it seemed like. Yo, the bed cost. Yo, the yo, and there's like, oh wait, there's 158 rooms, and each room got a $200,000 mattress. There's no way. And Ooh, the butler. He was right. I'm still on the butler. Only the billionaires going on this jump, yeah. cause bro, bro, 2,000 pounds of lobster, bro. And the billionaires probably ain't even going cause they got their own yacht. Where you got like the Trump special? I don't even like yachts, but my junk got a hospital though. Yeah, it's all it's all good. But like that, that's not even the point. I'm trying to figure out like who is this appealing to? Because as so I, I, I don't care what nobody say, bro. There's no one in this earth that's gonna not take luck. Like that's gonna um straight up just not take luxury o over not having. Like there's no one on earth that I think though. Like bro, everyone's gonna want to feel a little bit of luxury in their life, but. Bro, you need two thousand pounds of lobster to make sure you got the you got <laughs> lobster for breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, lunch, dinner for for every every hour. You want snack, this boy? Nice snack. I'm like, bro, why, bro? I don't. <laughs> Yo, talk talk to me, bro. I don't you don't know. let that poor grubby f touch those linens, or you can. It's up to you. The mattress is apparently full of horsetail hair, which is braided by hand and then unwound, which is somehow not a poverty solution to bedding. It's actually a very fancy way to do it. The hairs act like tiny springs that are supposed to make you feel like you're floating while you're in the bed. Something that would immediately remind me of the ship going down and it's like that one scene in Titanic, but for others, it's just a fancy thing. So you put all those activities I'm and amenities like, together why? and you get the Seven Seas Cruise. The biggest fuck you floating on the water. But why would you put so Sounds much like money it. into a Seven Seas Cruise when uh, historically cruises have uh, fucked up catastrophically, often? Why would anyone get on a cruise when you know just how bad things can get when you get on a cruise and there are a lot of bad things that can happen on a cruise oh you want to know you want to know no. all the bad things that happen no on a cruise? Tell, well, tell me. Me right after this ad oh we don't have an ad this week no ad not getting paid okay <laughs> i feel that i feel that maybe do your fucking jobs anyway um uh <laughs> on to the next segment yeah
What goes wrong? No, come Fun on, fact, please don't Every tell year, us. the cruise line industry rakes in $20 billion, which is so disappointing wow. to me, Dang. I can't verbalize how I feel. We're just throwing wow. money at these ships, and what do they do in return? They fuck up in, in extraordinary yeah. ways. They they shit the bed. I mean, it's yeah. not like they always sink. That would be crazy. No, that, they just do that. That is exactly what I wanted to see on this Monday afternoon. That is that is quite literally what I wanted to yo. see. Like, yo, I'm, <laughs> yo, mom, this, mom, mom, this boy giving yo. the Titanic a run for his money. Mom, this boy is horizontal. I never, I ne yo, yeah, I never seen a boat horizontal like this. And this is a cruise liner, mind you. This is a ginormous boat. I don't even know what's going on on this this boat right like, now. Like, I'm trying. What, 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 is that the bottom? Is that the laughing, top? It's not funny. Bro. What, what it's is not, this? What is funny. this? Is this the bottom? Is this the yo, top? We got, are these what is this up here? Are what is this? Or, are these chairs? I'm, tr I'm trying to figure this out. Like, nah, okay, come on. Let's talk. Mm, let's just go. I never get on a cruise ship. That once every five years. Every five years, one cruise ship sinks. So, you know, it, it's every really just buying a lottery years? ticket. But don't worry, the majority no. of deaths that happen on a cruise well, have nothing to do with the ship cause... going down in its entirety. <laughs> Actually, since 2000, more than the 600 plus cruise ship fatalities have come from people falling overboard, murder, or suicide. Super normal murder? family vacation <laughs> activities. All right, I just, I just love how Tug just gradually skips past that boy. Like, murder, bro, we got the, bro, Jack Rickers on the cruise? Murder? Yo, bro, I need mom. I need you to really imagine you pay fifteen thousand dollars to go on this cruise just to murder someone. You still going to jail? I mean, that's if you get caught. I don't know, but you still going to jail though. That's really tough. Wow. You couldn't. You couldn't. They just slipped that one in. And it's going to sound crazy, but you couldn't have just took someone out like like not on the cruise. Like like you didn't have to pay this fifteen bands to get on this cruise. Like I'm I'm not I'm not even gonna say. Maybe not that I'm maybe the murder he mean he pushed not. him over. Maybe, maybe. I mean, murder yeah, could, murders, could, murder could be murder. like a whole different entail of things. I'm just saying, you had to pay for a ticket to get on this boat. I'm pretty sure that boy was not worth whatever um, Joe mm. you committed, but I'm, I'm just going to break down all the ways cruise ships have fucked people over physically and historically. Oh, okay. Maybe you'll get the point I'm trying to make here. I mean, I at first got we have the, the Titanic. I don't really need to go into this. I mean, that's like the, the poster child of bad cruises, but yes. it's still something worth talking about. It's funny they called the, the Titanic unsinkable because it literally did one thing. <laughs> it sunk. A lot of people yeah. don't know the exact number. 1,500 people died in one night, which is crazy. But also, uh, wow. 1.5 million pieces of mail were lost, which is, you know, a pretty big tragedy. And apparently wow. four pieces I of that mail were that. just crates of opium. I guess that was still kicking around at that time. Bruh, crates of opium. You mean this? You mean it was this drugs? <laughs> you mean the John? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Dang. They found them? Dang. I ain't gonna lie. Well, rest in peace whoever ain't get their drugs. Oh um, my gosh. <laughs> I ain't gonna. Oh, no, it was a couple of crates of opium. He said, "Yeah, yeah a couple of crates of opium." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I'm wow. Like, somebody ain't get they. Somebody ain't get they opiates. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I guess I guess that lowered the addiction. Now nah, let me stop joking, bro. That's really going. That's really going to cancel us. Like, so you know, if you need opium, it's at the bottom of the ocean. But let's say you do your best not to die the way of the water. Well, your your personal health is still in jeopardy when you go on a cruise. Very for instance, so. statistically, Very you're so. gonna get, for lack of a better term, fat on a cruise. You're going to get porky. It's a well-known mm -hmm. phenomenon where people you just get a bit rotund free. when they get on a cruise to the point yeah. where if you type in cruise weight when you're trying to look up the weight of a ship, they're just going to give you facts about people getting... Some say that the average weight gain on a week-long cruise is 5 to 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm never going under John. Others say Bro, that how? they gain 3 to 5 because you just eat all... They just have food all day, no, all but... night. Yo, it costs... No, nah, nah, I have to stay big for this. It costs... 15 bands to get on this boy. You tell me there's not one treadmill? Yo, come on, bro. No, that nah. was the seven nah. C's. A regular cruise don't cost no 15000 Nah, I'm just saying. You spend all this cheese. You mean to tell me... To get, I don't care if it's the worst cruise imaginable, which I'm still not getting on. You definitely No, they die. do have a weight room. But like, I'm like, bro, we don't got one weight. We don't got one 20-pound dumbbell or now, something. Now, somebody ain't thinking about lifting weights or doing exercise on a the cruise. They want to go and eat yeah, all day, about, all you, night you long. You think about gaining 10 pounds of lobster. Yeah, I know. Like, what the... <laughs> Yo, who eat? Yo, how you eat 10 pounds of food in a week? Wow. Yo, come on. Yo, mom. Mom, this is ridiculous, yeah. Come on. Like, getting fat, which is long. not what I was looking for. Surveys reveal that passengers can gain up to a pound a day, which is mom, pretty crazy. It might have something to do with the fact that cruise ships often Listen. go through over 7,000 pounds of you cheese, 10,000 hot dogs, and 20,000 ice cream cones a week, which, yep. as someone who and enjoys shitty long. food, makes my mouth water a little bit. And yes, a lot of Okay, I feel it. I feel Okay, it's all we gotta night get long. into it. They gotta jump. I feel it. I ain't gonna lie, bro, for the cheese. I mean... Listen, I do it's love me all night long. Yo, bro, who's eating a pound of Franks a day, though? Like, I'm going to ask a couple of questions if you eat a 
pound of Franks a day, though. No. Like, like, yo. They like, just yo. saying that's how nah, much they have out cooking. Nah, we gonna, they all, I mean, yo. I love it. I think that's the best part. No. Nah, <laughs> I, I don't think Pizza, so. Pizza, French nah, fries. Nah, I really don't want Ice cream and, and, like, you know. A pound a day? And stuff. No, you don't we have to eat a pound a day. can only go on a cruise for three days because I can't. Now nah, I can't gain no more than this. <laughs> it's going to get bad. I, I'm going to be getting mad, especially. Yeah, you will because you're going to be like, wanting to eat. And you don't sleep at night. And uh, you gonna be like, oh, I'm going over to the burger I, spot. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, you. I'm like, oh, mom, I ain't gonna hold you. It's, it might be two a.m., but I'm straight to the buffet now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm and straight, they gonna and they <laughs> be all night they gonna, long. Yo, they gonna know me by name. I walk in that boy. They gonna know me for shit. Sister, what did you say? I don't know. Nah, 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 nah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but like, but like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to serve up that little gourmet cheese I got. I still got the new hors d'oeuvres out. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's how it like, is. Oh, I just <laughs> like yeah. Yo. A lot of cruises offer a gym on deck, but who's using that? Who's using a See? cruise gym? Who is? You're a psychopath. And this lack of exercise I'm as well to, as bro. shitty food leads to 200 people dying on cruises a year. This ain't by sinking, it's by the good old American way of heart attack, cardiac arrest. And because this is a very common way to kick the bait bucket when you're on a cruise, a lot of cruises have a morgue on board. The Disney cruise... Yo, I didn't know that. I'm not getting on a they boat. They got a morgue? That has a room for people that have deceased. That are dead. I'm not getting on a boat for this job. What you you expecting people to die? Nah, I'm cool. Nah, you, see what they saying is, what? you got six more days, and um, I'm Yo, sorry, <laughs> I gotta stay out here on the sea. Nah, well, they need a place but that's to a put problem. You. They expect the heads to die. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, hold on. Like, they ain't expecting are we not people. That? They not expecting people to die. Just you have a morgue on the boat. You Something might them. happen, and we ain't going. So then you expecting people to die? We yes. ain't docking. <laughs> Yo, he said, it ain't funny. Yo, we can't we can't pull over the cruise. Mm -mm. Nah, my fault. We got we, six more days. I'm like, no, nah, we we still got like a week and a half. I ain't gonna my, my bad. Um, yeah, take him down to the um, to, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeffrey, your butler that you you dead yeah. didn't use this whole entire time. <laughs> um, Jeffrey, yeah, take take him down to the. Uh, Mm -hmm. they, they got cold words and all that. They're they not even going to see the yeah. morgue. Because if I get on this boy and hear that check out a morgue, ha, ha, I need a refund because I'm turning back around. I'm like, bro, what y'all mean? What y'all mean you got a morgue, bro? Well, they got it. Because you, what, what, like, yo, what we He's saying? about to like, tell us Disney Cruise. He about to say that. Yo, if Grandpap, yo, if Grandpap got to go down in here, bro, I don't want to get in the boat, bro. I'm not, nah, let me chill. God, y'all really joke about this boy too much. Like, Cruise has a Disney morgue. And let's say more than, like, two people die, like, three people die. Well, they don't have, the morgues are tiny. So they're going to just use the walk-in freezer in the kitchen. So enjoy that He's cheesecake. Just joking. He's Martha just joking. from New England is, is rotting next to it. And also, if someone <laughs> dies on the first day of a 14-day cruise, they don't just turn the ship around. See? They, you, you just got to deal. You. I'm done. What I'm I tell done. you? Nah. They is not turning. He said on the 14th day. I said on the 6th day. I'm sorry. You just, you just go be just in like, the freezer. You said, well, well, what about my grandma? Nah, little Timmy, don't worry. We got a bunch of extra exclusive slides for you, don't worry, because we can't turn this boy around. But I, I'm like, what you mean? Mm -mm. Yo, grandma is, yo, not yeah, grandma. They'll put them in a suite. Yo, so if grandma die, we get we get the premium job. Yo, stop, mom. Yo, stop. Hey, come on, get that. They, yo, they already it's flying us in the it's promise for this. Buddy. I know that's Tuck's fault. I'm yeah. sorry, Deal it's with that body fault. for 13 days. Just imagine your dad dying on a cruise with you, and you gotta wait 13 days and watch people go down a water slide while you're in. I'm done. <laughs> I just said that. Oh, like, yo. I'm yo, not laughing man. at the dead yo, people. Like, I'm laughing at the fact that yo, we just yo, all poor yo, cause I'm I'm yo, with him. Grandpa died, grandma died. They're gonna be like, nah, bro. But this water slide really gonna hit though. I'm like, what you mean the water slide gonna hit your grandma in the freezer? She not even in the morgue. That's, that's too many. That would be so sad. Right. Like, how would you handle that? You gonna go ahead and go play some basketball? You can't even have court. fun for thirteen more days. Nah, you going? Nah, you you finna go play basketball? Get on the um, what they call? And this, who the you calling? Or... You can't use no cell phone. Nah, cause we don't got no. Nah, yes you do. You got Wi Fi on the John. I'm not no going signal. nowhere. I'm not going nowhere without no signal. You mean to tell me when a fourteen day crew two weeks I don't have a phone signal? Nah, there better be Wi Fi in every room. You must be crazy. I'm, I oh, you must a be Gen Z, that. Gen Alpha need Wi Fi. What you mean? Of course I need Wi Fi. Yo, the whole, yo, man, let's keep it up. Now, we're going to keep it a stack. There, most time, people be trying to go on a cruise. What are they trying to do? They trying to take videos, trying to brag about the life that they know is terrible, bro. Well, where they getting a Wi-Fi like, signal in the middle of the, the, on middle, for in the middle out there? What's up? I don't know. Now, you, they, you know how you have, like, the um, portable portable Wi-Fi gems? I'm pretty sure they got those. But I'm this is a whole boat, so I'm pretty sure they got, like, they have to have Wi-Fi because it's their stores in John, and then how you going to, yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying, well, let's go to see. other gym? 
but Let's like hear about the thirteen nah, more days. Nah, rest in peace, grandma, because like yeah, she not going, she not getting her uh her. her let, you know what? Let me. Not but it's not just heart attacks. There's there's a whole list of things that can go wrong historically on a cruise ship. And for example, in 2019, the Viking Sky lost power during a storm off the coast of Norway, and without power, the captain couldn't steer the ship correctly, so they got really close to just crashing into the rocky coast of Norway, which is just horrifying to me because like in a plane, when you crash, you get like two minutes and then you're dead. But like if you're on a cruise ship, you just watch rocks get closer and bigger and you just all hold hands and pray i guess but luckily all nah, 1374 bro. passengers were evacuated from the ship by helicopter but th is this what happened no nah. yo y'all gotta really understand i'm not i'm not i'm 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 not getting on the cruise ship yo mom what and why is it that they keep turning over on the side every time like it's really getting me mad right now i don't now. know how it tilts to the side why did it just don't go down like how Yo. Why don't it just go down? Why does it tilt? I gotta learn about that. Yo, why see. is the cruise ship in Norway? Isn't it cold? I'm not. No, no, it. they have the. Oh, they have the Norway cruise lines. Oh yes, they have it. They go all over. Nah, I'm not. And nah, what is this big Norway. seagull in the picture? <laughs> I didn't get that. I was like, that's go to a Norway. good view. Norway got icebergs. I'm cool off you. you I don't know, what know what but nah. that right there. This is ridiculous. Looks scary. Bro. Re. What, what you would mean? you look do? Look scary. This is terrifying. This is the most horrifying thing that ever happened. What to you. would you do? Would you go over there? And Die, cause that, that that's what it looks would like. Would you go on the top, try to climb up to the top? And then and then for that boy to tip over? Would you try to climb up like up there? No. Huh? Oh you know you know how we solve this situation? We don't get on the cruise ship. Well, we going. Go ahead. Right. No, we going. not. Who is we? You, yourself, and you, because it ain't me. That also sucks, because helicopters can only take like 10 people at a time. So you're waiting in a buffet line to be saved. An official report says yeah. that Tell the power failure was due to insufficient lubricating oil. That's something I feel like you but should be on top of. But if you wanted to ride the Viking Sky, don't worry, they put it back out in the water. They were like, well, well the, the catastrophic failure is not gonna happen twice. The odds go down, I'm pretty sure, after the first one. How about in 2013? There was an engine what? fire in the Carnival Triumph engine room, which caused the ship to lose power. And the ship got stranded. And while waiting for tugboats what? to start short, something went wrong with the poop tube. Raw sewage began to back up into the passenger Oh, wait, I remember this. That? I've seen this before. No, I do remember this. This is still ridiculous, though. Yeah, so imagine you trapped on a boat for, uh, who wouldn't even knows definitely days probably like weeks maybe um yeah you can't use none of the toilets and all that you can't take a shower either um so yeah you got poop in bags and then where are those bags going because you can't throw them in the ocean because you get probably fined and sued for that or like whatever what's this company trial co company uh carnival triumph or whatever they'll get sued so you got to keep your bags of poop all around so it's, it literally smells like an actual dump mixed with a sewer and we're stuck in the middle of the ocean lovely this is exactly what i want i'm gonna have to get me a fine what do you mean Cause I'm throwing my poop over. There's, everybody is not gonna do that. It's gonna smell like that regardless. Oh god! Like it's like yo, yo are you cooked? Yeah. Straight up poopy, poopy and piss. The passengers compared the ship to a porta potty that would fill up with poop every time the ship tilted a little bit. And if you don't know anything about ships on water, their natural state is tilted. Everyone on board was forced to piss in sinks and shit in bags. And I, if you're you know knee deep in ever someone else's feces, I'm you am never going right on thing, a cruise. Like, it's it was the fourth it. engine fire on a Carnival cruise since 1999. But you know. I'm sure that was the last one. Probably not gonna happen again. Oh, and pi there's pirates. Let's not forget about them. In 2005, the Seaborn Spirit was attacked by Somali pirates. Two pirate boats were surrounding the ship. Yo, mom. You still got pirates? Yo, Yo what is this, puppies? Yo, I'm about to say. Yo, mom, if I'm chilling on my cruise, I'm eating my lobster, and I see Luffy coming to this boy, I'm like, yo, like, I'm like, son. I'm like, how, Lu yo, Luffy, I mean, well, Luffy's a good pirate, so we should use Luffy. Luffy would, Luffy would be trying yo, to take our food. Yo, pirates way. coming. Luffy be like, yo, where the buffet at, bro? He wouldn't even worry about this joke. He'd be like, where the food? But who we running to? Shoot. I'm trying to think. Where you at? Where you at in the joint? You, you at, like, Sky P. I'm trying to think. Who's a good example? Yeah, if like, yo, what if Crocodile pull up? I'm like, yo, it's it's, it's looking bad, bro. He gonna win, because he fish man. Nah, he's not a fish man. Yo, Crocodile got the sin fruit. What you mean? Oh, who's the one, the, the fish people? The men, the men, but they they go in the water. Oh, that fishmen. Crew. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, you saying the boys that go in the water? Yeah, the fish. Oh, you mean Arlong? Arlong yeah, Arlong sure. That's a, that was a preparation I should. If Arlong pull up, I'm terrified because he hate humans. He want to kill us all. So I'm like, all right, yeah, we're good. Yeah, and he can adapt to the water and land. Word. Like, <laughs> yo, imagine sure. your boy. You can't even use water as your opposition, bro. He using water too. As a matter of fact, he's better in the water because he's a fish. I'm uh, like, well, that sucks. He eat one of those fruits. You cannot uh, go in the water anyway. Oh, uh, devil fruit. Yeah, yeah, nah. If you Luffy, bro, you sinking like a rock, bro. That's tough. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Too bad. I don't got a devil fruit, bro. I ain't go unless that watermelon I got. Nah, let me stop playing. 
But like, anyway, yeah. go ahead, go. <laughs> And they oh, just yeah. started launching RPGs. Rocket propelled grenades at the hull of the ship. The ship was hit several times, but only suffered cosmetic damage, which, shout out to the engineers. If your ship can take a rocket, that's good for you. And the that's captain scary. escaped wow. by driving really that. fast, which was a good move. That they also scary. launched sound cannons at the pirates, which is huh? like something that puts oh. a bunch of sound into a very focused area and blows out your eardrums. But it's just so oh, crazy okay. that, like, okay. one, I didn't know that vacation that pirates can show up to, which is bad. And two, it happens so often. It's such a, an often event that they have riot gear on the ship just in case. That just seems like a bad idea. Just why are we, yo? You gotta be prepared. Imagine, no, I need you to imagine. They showing you all this good doing on the flyer and all this fire. Oh yeah, at the end, may be susceptible to pirate attacks. What? Yo, Jack. They ain't I thought, gonna say that. Though. I thought Jack Sparrow was was chilling. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was fighting Blackbeard. What you mean? Like, <laughs> what you what 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 business he got with me? I don't got nothing, bro. You if you want the lobster, you can have it, big bro. My bad. <laughs> My bad, but like, yo, come on, bro. You got to let these seas be open, dang. I, I was trying to go on a little vacation. See, this is exactly why I'm not going on this joint because we're going we gonna to run straight into Blackbeard. And I'm going to be tight. <laughs> I'm going to really be mad. I ain't going to hold it. He's going to be like, yo, Arg matey, give me your treasure. I'm like, son, I, I gave all my treasure to this trip. I'm I'm broke. Nah, <laughs> I don't have nothing, bro. All I have is the sorrow I have because my wallet is empty after this boy. As soon as I walk off the ship, now what? It's like, yo, that's tough. I ain't going to hold you. What? Don't why, why are you getting on cruises? If your idea of a vacation is what killed hundreds of pilgrims while they tried to get to America, then you have a bad idea of vacation. Anyone who uses this for a vacation is stupid. Good God. But specifically, the seven seas sucks. That's the point of this video. Let me talk about the seven seas real quick. <laughs> Not worth the money. So the seven seas yeah, sells luxury, and as we all know, luxury means wasting generational wealth. The cruise yeah. can cost upwards of ten thousand a person, with some of the most expensive suites. I can't even believe I was right. Mm -hmm. I can't even believe. See, I he said, said minimum. 15. He said minimum ten thousand. So let's see what the highest is. And you were saying fifteen. Bro, he said minimum. I can't. A person ten thousand dollars of. That's a car. A person. It's coming in at over three hundred thousand dollars. Literally, a house in normal Illinois, you're you're paying to to what? go on a week vacation. When you break it down, these what? cruises, even on the low end, can cost a thousand dollars a day, and some of these cruises last a month. But I just don't understand who is the target demographic for this. I don't understand who is signing <laughs> me, up for these things. The crossover Again, between billionaires, because who can afford this? And they, if the billionaires, I don't know what I'm saying, because they need to have their own yacht thing. I don't even care if you upper middle class and you got the five bed, five bath that I'm trying to get, bro. You you can't afford this, bro. You cannot afford this. Three, up to $300,000. Go sing your pool and boat in your pool. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> on a boat no, in your I'm telling you, back your in pool. my office, I need to get back to work and shouldn't even be thinking about this, boy. Because this is literally going to destroy that generational wealth we done got. Because, bruh. Ten thousand a person is ridiculous. Three hundred thousand dollars a house. day. A day. That's somebody. Yeah, that's a house. Three hundred thousand dollars a house. That is actually somebody's house. Shoot, bro. A thousand a day. Yo, what, bro? Oh my god. Mm -mm. Yo, some y'all. And wild. the pirates is coming. Yo, <laughs> yo, and Arlon coming for you, bro. Nah, y'all, y'all, y'all got too much faith. I don't know, people bro. who enjoy cruises and the people who have three hundred thousand dollars to blow on any given day not not a lot of overlap cruises generally attract three right. main demographics newlyweds old people and people who like to get hammered newlyweds might have a honeymoon fund but on average that's only five thousand dollars and they're gonna spend that on like a once in a lifetime romantic trip like paris or rome so they don't have the money to do this so they're out absolutely five thousand dollars five thousand dollars you getting you to rome with the hotel and food Probably. No. How much your plane ticket? Your plane ticket already like what? At, at the very bare minimum for two of them, five hundred. No, it's more than that. That's not, and I think it's more. And you got to get a hotel. I mean, how you gonna eat? How you gonna go out to go do them them, them, them lovely? Day. Like, bro, the, the pizza still gonna run you a bag? <laughs> what? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Nah, this ain't, nah, this ain't, nah, nah. They, what they, is they Grandpa do. doing? <laughs> Looking nah. up his itinerary? Nah. That's... They love cruises. Elderly people love cruises. I mean, if you think about it, cruises are pretty much just elevated retirement homes. They got planned activities. They have shuffleboard. Mm -hmm. Often they have pudding. Old people love pudding. But the average household retirement uh, income of the United States is only $27,000. So unless you want to spend most of your yearly income on a 14-day glorified lobster fest, you're out. You're not going to do that. And then we have the booze hounds who still think that Jersey Shore is still a relevant cultural touch stone and these people do not mm -hmm. have the type of money to journey along on the seven seas i they would don't. say these people are more likely to join a 
the booze cruise, which is a shorter, <laughs> more alcohol-focused type of cruise. I did the math, and if what you are an alcoholic who wants to get know. your bang for a buck on a Seven Seas cruise, you, as a person, not as a group, you as a person have to drink a thousand bottles of champagne a day for it to work out. So... Yeah, I may be a Midwest yeah. redneck and get that done, but even then, do it's going to be a task. And what you get for the money you pay on one of these things isn't worth it in the first place. I mean, yes, they have all the fancy art and corny chandeliers I mentioned <laughs> earlier, but... What? Yo, they're going to be like, yeah, when they, they have luxury art here. Listen, such such insightful art just going to show me in there. And don't get it twisted. There is a lot of art that represents a lot of cool things. Not on this boat, though. My bad. Not on here, bro. Not when I pay ten thousand dollars to be here, bro. Mm -mm. Nah. And don't forget they got the Versace nah. um, oh, and, um, plate setting. Oh yeah, and, uh, and by we the don't way, even know if it's real. I don't care. I don't care if your chandelier is fire. Irrelevant. Like, bro, that chandelier is doing nothing for me except illuminating the room. Like, I'm <laughs> not even gonna hold you, like, bro. Nah, we we gonna have to bring that price down, big bro. My bad, <laughs> but we gonna have to bring that down because if I'm paying for this art and junk, bro, it's trash. I'm gonna keep it a bean. But what comes after that? I'm gonna break it down. Seven Seas cruises are all inclusive, thank God. They'll pay for your airfare okay. to get to the cruise, which I oh, guess wow. is nice. Oh, They'll pay okay. for you to go wherever you need to go to get on the boat. But oh, no. you know, I feel like you could save money by booking that flight yourself, not paying the three hundred thousand dollars. And everything you do on the ship is free: food, drink, Wi-Fi, okay. laundry service, room oh, service. Wi -Fi. You know, kind of like most cruises that aren't a doctor's salary. They even hand you a glass of champagne when you get on board, which isn't that fancy. I think they do that at the Hilton. At the very least, they do it at, at Sandals Resorts. And it also includes shore excursions, which is like when they pull off to uh, on like a pretty island and then you go snorkeling. But every cruise does that. Every single cruise does that. They also have things on the boat that aren't included in the all-inclusive things, like the what? spa. You spent $300,000 to be on this boat. You gotta pay to go there? You get a free massage. You have to book it and it's like 600. What? No, hold on, hold on. No, before I, say, before okay. I say anything, you spent three hundred thousand dollars to be on this boat, and you don't even get a free massage. You have to book it, and it's like six hundred dollars. In order, to yo, <laughs> yo, life is quite the incredible thing. I be trying to tell y'all sometimes, bro. I need y'all to imagine you paid three hundred thousand dollars, bro. You paid a house, a house to be on this boat. And they look at you, they're like, yo, the spa, oh, no, that's not part of the free amenities. Oh yeah, by the way, the bill for that, ah, six hundred. Ah. They cost six hundred dollars for somebody to rub my shoulders, bro. What are we paying? What are we paying six hundred for, bro? <laughs> y'all go ahead. Y'all want y'all want go on these cruises. Y'all go ahead because it's subjected to everybody's opinion. This is the seven my C's. My opinion. My opinion. This is hot garbage. My opinion. Talk soon. To make a Seven Seas cruise worth it, you would have to get blackout drunk every single day, eat all the food at the buffet you can, and then make yourself throw up, and then eat the same amount of food again, and swim with the dolphins every chance you get in order to even come close to breaking even on this dumbass adventure. And you want to know the actual worst part of the Seven Seas? Do you want to know the little secret that no one tells you about no, that I actually anyways. had to do some digging for? This is actually like a little bit of investigative reporting that we did here. Um, uh -oh. It's the mail. The mail that they send you is apparently a huge fucking issue. I went to the reviews because I wanted, you know, to find funny things that people said, the like, mail. oh, this sucked or oh, I spent too much money. No one was saying that weirdly. But instead, I found hundreds of reviews of people begging for Regent to stop sending them spam mail. Like, people's mailboxes are literally bursting at the seams because the Regent just won't stop sending them promotional wow. material. I went on an Alaskan cruise as a guest two years ago, and now I receive six brochures a week in the mail from Regent. No exaggeration. Three for me and three for my wife. They refuse or deny any attempt to stop from the mailings. I felt like cattle on the ship, and now I get Yo, reminded- I'm trying to really imagine that. Yo, you spent 300 k to go on this joint, and the worst situation you're going to deal with is your mailbox exploding. That is... He, he said, I felt like cattle on the ship. That is... That's messed up. You felt like a cow on the ship. That is incredible. And now I get reminded every day of the level of respect. That is... That is... That is incredible. Let me tell you every other day of the level of respect Regent has for me. Holy shit. David M says, one star. The cruise was fine. That's what you want to hear when you spend that much money. But since I went on the cruise, this company has been filling my snail mailbox almost daily with an absurd amount of promotional material. I never signed up for this, and I have called, emailed, and visited sites to attempt to unsubscribe. More specifically, Regina Williams from American Express Travel was the agent who helped us with this cruise, and her name is on each promotional flyer catalog. She does not respond yeah, to emails, docks, and when I finally docks, got her on the phone, she asked Acted like it wasn't her responsibility. <laughs> the world has a trash problem, and this needs to stop. That was the f that that was the first thing I was thinking in my head. I'm like, yo, has Regent never heard of an email? Like, nah, they're sending you booklets and pamphlets and John and flyers and brochures, mm -hmm. bro. Send That's this to my email at, at ten thousand to three hundred thousand. <laughs> 
Like, yeah, because it's paying for all that freaking paper they wasting, bro. They just literally lighting on fire. I'm That's sitting tough. on hold while I type this just to be removed from the mailing list from the previous occupant of the home I just bought. It's not even the purse. They didn't even have the ability to go on the cruise. Bruh. They're just getting the shitty mail. I get a brochure every week from Regent. Be prepared to be continually spanned by them after your cruise. It nah. takes a good six minutes for the customer service line to pick up. Do you know how nah. mad you have to be to be on a customer service line and also be writing a Yelp review? It's just Facts. crazy to get mail from somebody Facts. every single day. Like, what do you think you're accomplishing with that? If you want someone's Bro. business, send a letter a <laughs> month, maybe. Like, every day is just gonna make someone think you're an insane person. In conclusion, <laughs> No, cruises are stupid it's and dumb. It is stupid insane. And, dumb. and the second C is somehow a worse yet it's more expensive version of that. that dumb cruise lifestyle. So all that being said, if you want to go on a seven C's cruise, I, I suggest don't. saving your money and no. giving it to me. I don't have a Patreon set up yet, but uh, uh, if, you you if you're in Brooklyn, just keep it in an envelope. You'll see me walking around. I'm moving. That's why I didn't make a video last week, and that's why oh, I might not. I'm, okay. I might be a, a little scatterbrained for the next oh, couple days. New videos every Saturday and Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Don't go on a cruise. You're a fuck. He said he moved. Yeah, he said yeah. he's moving. Hey, well, hey, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Tug. He's getting saying? bigger and better things. Go, Tug. You feel me? That was Big Tug. Why Seven Seas Cruises are a tragedy. Sounds e exactly like they are. I, I can 300K, 10,000 a person. They flooding your mailbox. Yeah, man, this is exactly what I wanted in my life. I'll tell y'all what, man. I ain't gonna hold you. But of course, if y'all wanna watch the original video, boy, be down in the description below to give your own opinions and conjecture. And mom, we have to answer. Go ahead and uh, tell them what they got to do. No, they got to hit that thumbs up button, okay? They got to the comment. Video. Have you ever been on a cruise? How was it? Me. You know, what's your opinion of it? There ain't no subscribe. subscribe. Thank nah, you. Boy, thank yeah. you. We are at that 2K point. Said, ah, and then don't hey. forget to turn on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Post notification bell that every time I get us family post a new video, boy, be fresh, hot, spicy, fiery, and always in your feed. I know what it is. And I'm mom. Uh, boy, Trill. And uh, yeah, y'all will never catch me on a cruise. Huh. Factual. You won't. And we're going to see y'all later. Peace. Peace.